I've got an idea that will put Dragon Skin to the ultimate test. I've already thrown all kinds of stuff at it. 5.56, 7.62, and even 9mm rounds. It stopped them all cold. I've never seen anything like it. Boom, 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 rounds everywhere. But I want to know how far I can push it. How is Dragon Skin going to cope with a live grenade? What we got here is Bob. We've already put him through the ringer. As you can see, all the rounds we shot in the back. What we're going to do is take Bob and challenge him in a whole different way. This is a standard fragmentation grenade. It's got a steel body that's designed to break into pieces of lethal shrapnel. This deadly grenade can do some serious damage. Surely the body armor doesn't stand a chance. They propped him up a little bit, did they? Now it's important to remember, we already shot two 9 mils, two 5.56 five, with the steel core, and two 7.62 with the steel core into this as well. So we're really pushing dragon skin to the limits. The designers have never tried this before, and understandably, they're a little nervous. This will be new for us. We've never detonated uh, a grenade underneath our body armor. To add to the pressure, we're joined by Fresno Bomb Squad Sergeant Alan Knight. He and his team regularly face life-threatening situations. He's hoping Dragonskin could protect the lives of his team. This is a powerful grenade. The blast can blow off limbs, and the shrapnel can slice right through vital organs. We're going to do this test from a safe distance. That was a deadly blast. But then, this grenade is designed to rip and punch its way through whatever's in its way. Surely the vest can't survive. I can't even imagine how bad it's going to be when you look at it. You know what I mean? When you think of a grenade that close to the human body, I mean, the odds are it's over and done. So uh, this is definitely pushing the limits of what's possible. Let's take a look at this right here. Wow, look at that right there. Carrier took a Careful. bit of a beating, but uh, definitely the carrier took the beating. armor package held oh, look up. Look at that. That's incredible. All of that blast was taken right up front. When you look at this, it looks like it's devastating. But when you flip it around, it looks like nothing's happened. That's what goes against the body right there. No holes in it, no big no, bulges. Exactly. Didn't, didn't even tear the nylon, which is substantial. I think it speaks for itself. It's phenomenal. Bomb Squad Sergeant Alan Knight delivers his verdict. I've, I've never seen anything like that before. When we came down range, I thought we really had done some damage. And when you flip that over, I, I'm, I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. This is... This, it's incredible. This is amazing. There's absolutely no penetration. Nothing. Al, I'm going to ask you a personal question. How would you feel about uh, wearing dragon skin in the field? No problem at all. I was a little bit worried when we came down, but after seeing this, absolutely no problem at all. The technology behind dragon skin delivers impressive protection. 